disingenuous. He stands as a beacon of truth. He is Abuki Cabal. Listening to a Buki Cabal. Welcome to the Abuki Cabal Show. What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, sorry, I've been down for a little while. Had to build me a new computer, get everything uh, together to try to, you know, keep the show going. Uh, it may be a little loud because it's right next to me, but I apologize in advance. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about what everybody's pretty much talking about, and that's Shawnee O'Neal. You know, um, she has uh, come out and called herself elevating herself with her book uh, about her failed marriage to Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and she, you know, says that pretty much she's, you know, she's given the impression that she's, you know, winning on her own terms and redefining who she is. I mean, this is, um, this is kind of, um, it's not new. I mean, it seems like uh, a lot of the basketball wives and uh, NBA wives uh, who are of our persuasion uh, feel unfulfilled uh, being married to uh, someone who uh, has the spotlight, has all of the, uh, the the attention on them, and as well as you know making all of the money. So um, you have. You know, these situations where they go out and they, after the divorce, you know, they repackage themselves and, you know, try to, you know, you know, get everybody to see them uh, through the uh, depiction that they set up. So we see this with, with Shawnee O'Neal uh, trying to, um, you know, repackage yourself. It's almost like going out, like I said, you know, I said a long time ago, you know, I did this. You know, this deal about, you know, having your 304 card, you know, where these women go out when they're young and they do all of these, you know, these whole activities. And uh, then, you know, they take their car back, you know, and uh, after they're older and now they're supposedly wiser and then they uh, want to wipe the history on the car. And uh, that's what we see here. You know, um, Shawnee. Uh, <laughs> Uh, was married before, you know, um, she left her husband. Uh, we're supposed to believe uh, that she left her husband for another man that she didn't love, you know. This other man happened to be Shaquille O'Neal, who had quite a bit of, uh, of, of fame and money. Uh, and, you know, we were supposed to believe that she basically looked at him just like any other man and basically, um, you know, left one marriage because she was unhappy to get with another man who she was, who she didn't love. Um, and uh, also bringing a child uh, that she had had in this uh, uh, from another man. 
you know, who, you know, they all say that they're the kid and she uh, uh, is, is uh, estranged from the father or the father is not involved in the child's life, you know, as if uh, they had no hand in, uh, in the, the child uh, being estranged from their father. And um, the situation that, you know, uh, that, that commonly happens as a result of them being um, difficult in, in a marriage, you know. Um, so she leaves one man, you know, one, one marriage, you know, divorces this man, goes and, and gets with Shaq, a man that she does not, uh, does not love. And she uh, has a you know, uh, hot, you know, um, living standard, you know, with, with, with Shaq, she, you know, we saw them on yachts and, you know, living it up in, in Florida, all kinds of thing, you know, things that she was, you know, uh, he was, you know, they were living lavishly. Let's just say that, you know, and for, for a time it was all, all Shaquille, you know, you know, and, um, she would have us believe that basically Shaquille was messing around with women all over the place and that she was, she always felt like, you know, in the book that basically, you know, she felt like he was always disappearing and she felt like he was, you know, he was having affairs. And, and we know now, uh, you know, uh, that he was having affairs and whatnot, but um, we're, we're, we're supposed to believe that, that she didn't know that uh, that was the type of man that she was with. And, um, you know, what comes along with uh, being with a man that makes that kind of money. Um, so, again, I mean, it's like it's it's, you know, this this script that uh, the ladies go by. Uh, with regard to I was young, I didn't know any better. I was, you know, I was in a marriage and I, you know, everything was fine as long as I was raising my kids and, you know, and, and, and everything. And then when the kids leave the house, then they want to leave the house and they want to repackage themselves and, and then marry uh, a younger man or a man who is, 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 um, someone who basically, you know, um, sets off their fireworks and whatnot. And essentially what, it, what, what this is, is that they, they get bored. They get bored. Um, they uh, have problems, you know, being with these men after, you know, Shaq's career was, was, was winding down. She um, saw that, okay, he's going to have this money. He's going to have a lot more, you know, a lot more free time and whatnot. I'm really gonna probably going to have to spend a lot more time with this man. He's not going to be alone, be, be, uh, be away from home as much as he was. So now I'm really going to have to be in this man's face. <laughs> you know, I'm really going to have to, you know, be, uh, be, uh, uh, around him a lot more than, than I had to originally, you know? And, um, you know, we all know that um, from, you know, what she said and how she carries herself, um, that Shawnee is, is, is a, she's a conniving person. You know, I, I said on my Facebook that she has a dingy spirit, you know, and then you want to leave Shaq and then you want to go and marry a preacher. And uh, then now you're a first lady after you, you know, it, it has come out that you were paying a, you know, a, a street dude, you know, a thuggo to, uh, you know, $20,000, you know, for sex and how she negotiated, you know, the, the terms of this, this, uh, this sexual uh, encounters. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I heard some other things where Shawnee was, you know, dating uh, these younger guys and stuff when she was, when she wasn't even divorced yet. You know, so they both were doing things, but then, you know, it's always, you know, she, you know, the man, is worse, so she rides that out. She rides that part of the script out. Makes Shaq look like he's, you know, he's the bad guy when he raised your son, raised all your sons to be be, uh, um, you know, excellent men. You know, from what I what I understand, all of them love their father. 
you know, after she made these disparaging comments on his birthday, all of this shit broke out. And, you know, she comes out, makes out all these, these, these disparaging comments. And, um, you know, then the sons come out and, you know, pretty much tell their father how much they love him and how they can't believe that their mother came out and said these things. You know, she's damaging her sons. She's damaging uh, uh, her ex-husband, whom she supposedly has a cordial relationship with. Um, you know, she says that, you know, she was never in it for the money and all this. But, you know, I, I, I just find it hard to believe you weren't in it for the money. But, you know, you made significant money off of off of Shaq while you're on him you're with him. You're still using his name, you know, to, uh, you know, start your trifling uh, basketball wife show, which was was it, it put put black women in, in the worst light you can you can imagine. I mean, it made made y'all look like 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 trash. You know, you sit up and, and it, you know, the good people on the show. You know, Shawnee acts like she's the, the person who is like the, the good, wholesome person in the background when she was sitting up, you know, starting and stoking, uh, uh, you know, uh, flames between uh, um, uh, individual, you know, guests who were supposed to be her friend, her friends on the show. She's pitting them against each other. It was just it's a trifling, hot and trifling mess. You know, it showed the character of, of, of the types of people that, you know, these men have to deal with, you know, and they call them basketball wise. You don't hardly see the husbands on there at all. They are making the money while they got all this time on their hands, you know, to uh, engage in mayhem. And, uh, you know, that you expect uh, for. Uh, you know, men to look at this and say, yeah, that's the that's the type of shit I want to be involved with. I want to be involved with that right there. That's what I aspire to have me, a, you know, a, a sexy, you know, a deceitful, uh, you know, dingy spirited, you know, hoe for uh, uh, for a wife. You know, who's basically engaging in, 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 you know, streetwalker trickery while you sitting up coming to it in good faith saying, hey, you know, all right, you know, I'm going uh, to take this woman and I'm going to marry her and then I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to give her every, I'm going to make her happy. I'm going to give her all of this stuff because we all know that it's all about stuff with them. Then when you give them the stuff, they're not happy with the stuff. It's almost like it's a as, as a list. They give you a list. Well, I, you know, it would take this, this, and this for me to be happy. And then you provide this, this, and this, and then they're still not happy. You know, they snatch the snatch the, the carpet from underneath you, and then say that they require uh, some more stuff to be happy, and you continue with that. See, you know, in the old days, you know, these were the type of women that you you were taught to basically avoid. But it's becoming harder and harder to avoid these types of women because of the, the camouflage that they wear. See, and it's becoming, you know, uh, more evident with uh, with social media. You know, they they they, they can't hide uh, for long when they're on there. They'll they'll try to try to keep their you know, uh, keep their facade going for a minute. But then, you know, slowly but surely, you see exactly who you're dealing with, you know. And, uh, you know, these young guys are looking at this. And, you know, uh, this is, is not a good deal. You know, we're already having people talking about why are black women not at, at the, at, you know, at the, um, you know, at the uh, the drafts and whatnot, uh, NFL, NBA drafts, it's because you really don't like the men that are becoming these top athletes. You don't. You don't go out there. You're not at the practices. You're not, you know, you're not trying to be um, the type of woman that is uh, useful to a man like that who is 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 attractive to a man like that you know i saw something um uh, on facebook earlier where as a, a lady i think she was a, a a preacher you know and she was saying that 
uh, she wants to have um, the body of a hoe, but she wants to have a, a holy mind, you know, and and uh, you know she wants men to fawn all over her and and you know and and not be able to control themselves around her. But at the same time, she wants to have you know a, a different kind of uh, of mentality, and and it doesn't add up. But it, it says something that is you know that is 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 very interesting about um, the character. Of a lot of uh, of women who who want all of the attention, but they don't want to uh, to be the complete package. You know, a lot of these women say, "Oh yeah, I want to I want to be at the draft." You know, but you don't want to do what it takes to get a man. You know, uh, who goes to the draft? You know, that's like saying, "Okay, I want to be a doctor," but you don't take the prerequisites for you to to be a doctor. But you still expect, you know, to get all of the, 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 you know, the accolades and the trappings of a doctor. That's idiotic. You know, and, you know, it's really frustrating, you know, when you sit up and you talk, you know, you talk to some of these these types and and they continue, you, you tell them, uh, uh, you know, about, say, the facts of what's going on, or what Shawnee said, whatever the case may be, and then they, they immediately come out and say, well, I feel this about it. Okay, well, all right, that's fine, okay? They even add extra shit, like, oh, well, he must have done something, you know? So if you say, okay, well, let's not add anything extra to the story. Let's just deal with, with, with the facts at hand. Let's just deal with what she says happened and not what coulda, shoulda, woulda, maybe uh, happened, uh, you know, uh, with, you know, what Shaq might have done to made her make her do these things. It's like they, they, they say they have agency. But then at the same time, when you when you put them in a situation where they do have agency, then they go, well, no, I didn't know. Uh, I, 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 I shouldn't be held responsible for this. You know, uh, uh, you, you should give me a pass on my actions. You know, and it's really, you know, I hate to say it, but it really is like dealing with, with, with children. You know, it, it's the older you get. The more, um, the more you just don't want to, you don't even want to deal with that type of uh, type of mentality, and uh, they just don't understand it. They don't understand why it gets old. But I understand completely why it gets old, and I understand why uh, why uh, any man uh, with any type of sanity would not want to deal with this. Shaq has taken the the high ground on this and he has said that basically he is not uh, you know he, he understands her position and I wouldn't love me either and you know all that but basically I think he's doing that because you know he has to one and two it's because it's not really in his nature Shaq is, is a fun loving guy everything that you that you've ever seen about Shaq or heard about Shaq you know shows that from his sons from the people who have played with him the people who have been around him as long as I've been watching him since he's been in the league and whatnot since he's been in, in the public eye Shaq has never had anything you know really remotely bad said about him he's always tried to be a fun loving guy he's still is, you know, and for someone after you've taken care of somebody, you know, and you've lived with somebody and then they betray that trust and go out and say the types of things that they say, I, I just, you know, I'm sure I know I would be pissed, but it seems like he is not. And that's a good thing. I think, um, you know, he's winning hearts and minds uh, because you hear women say, oh, when he says that, you know, hey, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, loved me either. And his position is like that soft position is, is they like that. You know what I mean? But on the other on the other side of the coin, they can't, you know, they, they kind of hate him because of what she's saying about him. You know, so it just shows that conundrum when dealing with that type of of of, uh, of stuff when it comes to your business being put all out on Front Street. Now, if you've gone on with your life, Shawnee, 
and you're you're happy with your new preacher man and your first lady and whatnot, and you're trying to be, uh, you know, first lady material. Is this? Is this the actions of a first lady? Is this the actions of a woman who is is in the church now, who is part of the leadership of the church? Is this the type of activity that a first lady should be doing? Going back and basically, <clears throat> excuse me, telling all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, negative things about her ex-husband after she has, you know, basically uh, got uh, obtained a come up, you know, from being with him. You know, let's you know, let's talk about how much money did 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 uh you know did she get? You know, you know when 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 she was with Shaquille, you know, uh, and the divorce was finalized in 20, uh, 2011. Uh, he gave her three houses as a settlement that were valued as 33 uh, at 33 million dollars. Uh, he also had to pay 200 million in alimony. Because uh, you know it was it was it was in Florida, he got a chance to you know he got to keep all of his uh, uh, the, the majority of his assets, you know. But that's the only reason why she didn't she didn't you know take him to the cleaners. You know, she says, "Oh, I didn't want his money," but you couldn't get his money because of where you got married, you know. So that's kind of disingenuous. You know, she probably could have tried to fight it out and whatnot, but Shaq was very generous in what he gave her. You know, so, you know, he paid 200 million in alimony. You know, that was $10,000 a month and an additional $10,000 a month for each child. OK, you know, and then, you know, you got your freedom. So what, you know, what what's in it for you? to go and try to drag this man. This man is, is beloved by millions of people, you know, and you know that. And I think what it comes down to is just, it's pettiness, you know? It's, um, yeah, you know, Sean, I, I was, you know, talking to some folks on, you know, I was talking on Facebook and, and one of the ladies came out and, you know, she was upset because I said that, you know, uh, she was engaging in, in, in whole behavior and whatnot, you know, and she was like, why would you drag this woman like that? I said, okay. So, you know, I tried to laid it all out. You know, she left one man to get with Shaq, you know, and she didn't love Shaq. You know, it wasn't about the money. But she got all of the money. She's been using his name to, you know, to, to run her shows. I mean, to, you know, publicize her shows and, 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 you know, write these books and whatnot. So each come up, you know, if she put her new name on it, don't nobody know who Shawnee Henderson is. She got to say Shawnee O'Neal or formerly Shawnee, Shawnee O'Neal. So she's basically riding his coattails to make money. Basketball wives. She wasn't a basketball wife. She was an ex-basketball wife. You know, and before that, well, Shawnee was established before. No, she wasn't. Shawnee works for Fox. Uh, uh, who was it? She was um, promoting video. She was a video promoter, you know, for, for Fox. So, I mean, I don't know how much money she was making, but she wasn't making Shaq money. You know? And... Um, you know, I, I just, I just, I mean, you have to, you know, sh make me see it. Make me see the logic of her leaving her husband to go with Shaq, you know, who she didn't love. I mean, this is out of her own mouth. She said this, you know, she said it was like a sickness. Well, you don't really know that you're sick until basically you're done raising your kids and, you know, everybody's out of the house and then you realize that you never really wanted to be there in the first place. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite convenient that after you've used all his money to raise all your, ki all your kids and shit and you have, um, you know, you, you've lived all the, the good life and now, you you know, you're, you're fast approaching the wall, you know, and, you know, now you want to, you know, repackage it and, and 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 move on uh, to 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 what you uh, would would consider greener pastures, you know. Damn that man's feelings, damn his reputation, damn him. You don't. I mean, uh, d does he not deserve uh, your silence? 
and uh, you know you going on if you if you if you you you're happily married and, and whatnot, why are you still talking about your ex-husband? But let's let's look at a little bit of um, some of what everybody's been you know been saying about it, what they what they've written uh, about it. Uh, And um, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just take a look at this. Okay, so you got Shawnee saying, I didn't want a cent of his money, uh, of Shaquille's money. Shawnee Henderson clears the air on her intentions of splitting up with the $500 million, uh, with $500 million worth Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. All right, that was in May. Okay, so NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal and longtime partner of Shawnee Henderson went through a high-profile divorce in 2011, nine years after their 2002 marriage. O'Neal was at a, at the tail end of a lucrative 19-year basketball career at the time. However, according to Henderson, she never desired to receive a part of the former MVP's mass net worth. O'Neal initially filed for divorce from Henderson in Miami in 2007, citing their marriage being irrevocably broken. However, Henderson filed a court motion to dismiss the four-time NBA champion's filing with the couple calling off their divorce in 2008. One year later, Henderson changed course, filing for separation in Los Angeles due to irreconcilable differences. Can anybody uh, anybody care to guess why she filed in California as opposed to um, I don't know partially probably because she was you know he was where he was playing for um, he's playing in California during the time so. Um, uh, she probably filed there, but also, you know, California is more, uh, it's more favorable uh, for women in high profile uh, divorce claims. So, uh, let's see, filed in Los Angeles. Uh, okay. Uh, she reportedly sought sole custody of her and O'Neill's four children with a big man, uh, with the big man receiving visitation rights. Okay, so we know she followed the script of trying to get, you know, get custody, you know, so that she could, you know, get that money. Okay, so the divorce settlement was ultimately finalized in 2011. O'Neill agreed to pay his ex-wife $10,000 a month in alimony and $10,000 a month uh, in child support for each of their four children. Due to having a prenup in place and Florida courts handling the divorce, the 15-time All-Star retained most of his assets. See what I told you? So he did have some protection uh, against what she was trying to do, but she said it wasn't about the money, okay? So thus, he avoided potentially relinquishing hundreds of millions of dollars in the settlement. His net worth has since ballooned to $500 million as of 2024. After numerous savvy business moves and endorsements in her new Oh, and endorsements. Okay. In her new book, Undefeated, Changing the Rules and Winning on My Own Terms, that, that, look, that, that, that title in itself is problematic. Okay. Undefeated. First of all, who's trying to defeat you? You know, you're undefeated in, in whole tactics. I get it. You know, changing the rules, just like I said, you're changing the rules about how things apply to hoes. Okay, and winning on my own terms. After you rewrite the rules, then you win. See. So Henderson wrote uh, in in depth about her and O'Neill's marriage and divorce because she knows that don't nobody really give a shit about any other part of her life other than the time that she was with Shaq. Ain't nobody that whole look. The Basketball Wives show was for women. You know, one thing I can say about it is she knows uh, she knows what, what women like, and that is, 
you know, greasy, slick behavior and, you know, a bunch of gossip and, 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 and drama. It's always some, some mess going on. And that's exactly what she kept going on in the show. You know, damn how it looks on the community. It used to be, you know, um, people, you know, who were in uh, the in, in, you know, Hollywood and the industry and, you know, and NFL, NBA stars. They were they cared about their image, you know, and, and what it it did to black folks uh, at large, you know how it looked to the community, you know, how that looked to the kids, you know? But not these folks, you know, not these new, these new women, you know? And, uh, you know, if you're not hearing anything about their husband, they're going to make sure that you hear about it from their side, you know? So, let's go. Uh... According to the 49-year-old, she never attempted to secure a large portion of O'Neill's net worth. Instead, she just wanted a peaceful separation and sufficient child support. Okay, I told my divorce attorneys I didn't want to fight with Shaquille. I just wanted to take wanted him to take care of his kids, Henderson wrote. Do you really think that that was ever in question that Shaq was going to take care of his kids? Shaq, if if you don't know anything about him, he had his his growing up, uh, you know, his time growing up. He talked about, you know, his father and how important he was in his life and how he wanted to, to, to do the be the same for his kids. But she would have you believe with this semi slick move that it was in question that Shaq would whether Shaq would raise his kids or not. OK. So I didn't care about anything else. I had also told them I didn't want a cent of Shaquille's money, and I meant it. I wanted to be free to have the life I wanted on my terms, even while raising five kids under 11. I turned my back on mansions, luxury cars, private jets, and a lifetime of wealth and privilege. Did you? Did you? If I'm not mistaken, I mean, was she not, you know, showing off, you know, uh, uh, mansions and and privilege when she was on Basketball Wives? Because I mean, we can go back and we can we can run the show back, and uh, yeah, she even had Shaq on the show, you know. Uh, at least I think a couple of times they showed the inside of the house. Yeah, she was promoting all her, all her, her you know, her come up and, you know, so. Um, here we have her. Henderson has since experienced success as the founder and CEO of Amara, Am 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 Amira Inc., the production company behind the reality TV show Basketball Wives. Additionally, she married in 2002 Pastor Keon Henderson, receiving uh, O'Neill's approval. OK. All right. So why you need Shaq's approval? Anyway, it's the, the whole thing is just messy. You now, okay, you gotta, you know, you you, you you turned your back on all this stuff, but you're constantly in the public eye. You're constantly taking photo shoots. You're constantly trying to keep your name relevant, you know, in, in a bunch of mess. This is not good publicity at all. And what 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 are, what are you doing with this production company besides basketball wise besides uh, reality TV that's scummy and dingy? Okay, Shawnee Henderson doesn't blame Shaquille O'Neal for her fail failed marriage, as Shawnee Henderson and Sha Shaquille O'Neal present day relationship. Henderson notes noted that uh, they have overcome their differences and reached a place of peaceful coexistence. She added that she doesn't want to ruin that with her new book. She had, She's already done that. Okay. Henderson also clarified that she doesn't blame O'Neal for their marriage disillusion as he did the best he could with the tools he had. Neither of us at the time, us took the time to invest in our 
our future by seeking marriage counseling, which looking back, we probably should have, Henderson wrote. We both thought we were doing the right thing by jumping into family life, and we gave it our best. This is the biggest crock of shit I have ever heard in my life. You left the family life. And now you want us to believe that you 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 didn't know what you was doing the second time around either. I told y'all they hate being held to any kind of standards, rules. They hate accountability. They hate all of that. You know, and at the end of the day, once they could be fucking 50 years old later on, then they'll say, oh, I can't be held responsible for any of that. Oh no, I was tricked. You know, I was, I was, I was blinded. I didn't know any of that. I, I needed to be so much older. See, this is also part of that. You know, where they don't like you messing with, with, with young women because you know uh, they they hate competition. They hate all of that, and then they always want to say, "Well, she couldn't possibly know what she was doing," because that's the lie they're gonna tell later on, so that they can get over, so that nobody they never want anybody to look at them. And hold them accountable for any of their actions uh, or how they do things, you know, and, and, you know, it's crazy. Even the old ladies think they're crazy. The older ladies are coming out, the grandma's coming out saying, great grandma's coming out saying, hey, you know, I don't blame y'all. I don't blame y'all for not dealing with this, this mess out here. The waters are polluted. Fishing has been ruined. Okay, so... You know, it appears that her book is meant to clear up misconceptions about their divorce rather than disparage the NBA legend. I can't tell. Looks like she's disparaging the hell out of him to me. You know, I cannot tell. Undefeated. I mean, this this title doesn't doesn't scream clarification. It screams, I made it. You know, I made it. I'm eyes free. You know, you see how they, they, they characterize, you know, being married to people as, as, as tantamount to being slaves. You know, I got my freedom. They holding their fists and up like they just broke their bonds. Eyes free. You know. And, and we supposed to look at her, this woman married to a millionaire, as being, you know, in bondage. This shit's crazy. Okay, so there you have her. You know, she wants to look like she's a normal lady, normal first lady with tattoos on her ankles, dressing in, you know, the garb of tight clothing and whatnot, you know, first lady, does that look like first ladies, you know, go up to y'all, doesn't to me, but anyway, I digress, you know, all right, so here you have her, you know, you know, she's typical older lady, you know, all of her stuff trappings and whatnot. Okay, so let's look at the next article. Okay, so here she is again in a tight, you know, dress here with Shaquille's name behind her. You know, okay, Shaquille O'Neal's ex-wife who bagged three houses worth three, uh, 33 million, 400,000 in a divorce settlement shows off humble abode with second husband. So you see, anything that comes up about her, Shaq is going to be pulled into it. Every time something is being talked about, Shaquille is being pulled into, into it. Even though she's divorced and all that, they still bring Shaquille out on this. Okay. 
So here we go again. You know, Shaquille O'Neal and his ex-wife, uh, Shawna Henderson, divorced, finalized in 2011. Shaquille gave her three houses. She gave three houses to Shawna as a settlement that was valued at $33 million approximately. Uh, the four-time NBA champion was even close to shelling out $200 million in alimony last year. Shawna moved on and married Pastor Keon Henderson. While the diesel continues to live a bachelor's life, his ex-wife Shawnee has settled down and living in a new house in Houston. The 48-year-old reality TV star gave fans a glimpse of her new house. Gotta do that. Gotta floss. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Shawnee is uh, active on social media and shares snippets of her life with her husband, Keon Henderson, uh, every now and then. After the two got married, they presently live in Houston. She recently posted a video clip on her Instagram handle where she gave a quick glimpse of her home to her fans. In the clip, her hospitality was evident. When Shawnee welcomed her guests and showed them uh, showed them the house around. Oh, that don't make no sense. Showed them around the house. OK, uh, it was the promo for the return of Basketball Wise reality show, which is all set to air on October 9th on VH1. Oh, so again, she used Shaq. And her, you know, new house and all of this other her marriage and all of that to promote her show. Crafty, slick. Yeah. So, okay, the fans uh, expose expressed their excitement about the popular show in a, a comment section. Shawnee captioned the post: uh, "Every winning team has an all star. That is the mediator." glamorous and welcoming are you a queen of poise no you're not <laughs> you're none of that shit so hey, let's, let's uh, Instagram here ah it's not available okay alright well here we go while the house looks beautiful it is not only uh, not the only one in Shawnee's possession furthermore uh he also paid around 50000 per month in alimony. The NBA icon has an estimated net worth, so here we still talking about Shaquille, about how much Shaquille is worth. Over the years, the Los Angeles Lakers legend has splashed his well-earned money to purchase uh, the things he desires. Like most superstar athletes, O'Neal had multiple luxury mansions worth millions. Notably, the four-time NBA champion built a massive 76,000 square square foot house in Miami, Florida. After the divorce, Shaq found it hard to live alone on the property without his children from whom he built for whom he built the house. So here she's basically, you know, uh, torn the family apart because she wasn't happy. And, uh, you know, here you have the man in the house, you know, wanting his family there. You know, and this is her big win. Shit's this is pathetic, man. It really is. It's really sad that that this is where we are now. She has sold, so he sold the residence to a dentist for eleven million. Nevertheless, he avoided paying massive amounts of alimony. Okay, all right. So that was a win for Shaquille. Shaq could have seen uh, his net worth reduced considerably in the divorce. Uh, it was if it wasn't for the prenup. Notably, uh, the Hall of Famer was close to paying around $200 million in alimony despite the prenup. Okay, so she didn't want his money, you know, but it looks like she was trying to get $200 million. Okay, so O'Neill and Shawnee had a prenup in place, which is valid in the state of Florida, but it would have been null and void in the, the state of California where Shawnee and her children lived at the time. See, so she was doing crafty shit. Okay, so 
uh, however Shaq was paying, uh, playing for the Miami Heat during the initial separation. So the divorce proceedings were filed in Florida. So the prenup was valid and it helped him not pay $200 million. Thank God. I don't believe in these huge divorces. I don't believe these women deserve any of that. You know, if you don't want to be with a million dollar man, then you go back and, be, and, and live a normal life. That's how you're supposed to live. You're not supposed to, to continue to live the life that that man provided without the man. I don't know who, who, who set that up, uh, but that, that, that's, that's just moronic to do. So, you know, here we go, you know. Nice Shauna here, you know, uh, by Shaq, you know. Funny how she wasn't looking basketball wifeish there, but you know, when she out with the new man, she got a whole new look. She bumped it up, you know. So, you know, like I say, uh, you know, is I have to ask again, you know, is this the type of behavior that uh, that you would see exhibited by uh, a first lady? You know, but that's that that's, you know, who she is supposed to be now, you know, and, um, you know, I wonder, you know, uh, also, you know, if you, you know, you married a preacher and you, you know, by marrying a preacher, you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to adhere to certain standards, especially being the first lady, you know, you, you in the leadership of the church, you know, and. Um, you out here doing underhanded stuff, you know, disparaging your, your ex-husband, you know, uh, who knows what kind of mental health issues, you know, Shaq has had to go through, you know, uh, being without his, his, his sons, you know, his family, um, you know, but, you know, like we, we hear time and time again, you know, show after show, we hear how, you know, uh, uh, you know, these women's families uh, can, can go to hell, you know, they want to be happy. They want to live whatever kind of uh, fantasy life that they have in their heads. Um, and, you know, they shoot for that. You know, they have to be the boss chick. You know, you got to be out here. You got to be a producer. I'm married to Shaq, but I, I'm my own woman. I have created my own stuff. Oh, and then when you say, well, what about his money that allowed you to, to help you uh, create that? What about his notoriety that helped you to, to get into the doors to be able to even, even start a show? What about all of that? No, I did it on my own. I broke, broke through the ceilings on my own. That's them. You know, that's what we got now. You know, all of them want to be this, you know, this, this legendary boss bitch. That's what they want. You know, and they all want to be better than the man. And they wonder why um, these men are now choosing different types of women. Women who want to be wives who don't necessarily want to have the, the spotlight above their husbands, who like having sex with their husbands, who like being being seen with their husbands and being their husband's wives. Yeah. More and more you're hearing, you know, these women from overseas saying these 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 women are crazy. You know, they have everything and they're still not happy. You know, so uh, I think I've, you know, I've. I've uh, I think I've, I've just about, you know, covered it. Um, it's, it's really, uh, it's really a sad situation. You know, um, she thinks that she's winning, but she's not, you know, and, you know, It's just, like I said, this is a sad situation, man. But, you know, this is an age-old, age-old uh, 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 proverb. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. And, um, you know, if you, you know, you take a, uh, you have to take a woman who has left her marriage, you know, for a man that she doesn't love, then, you know, there's some, has some, some, some real mental health issues going on there. So, you know, with that being said, you know, thanks for you guys, uh, you know, listening to the show and, um, I will try to, to be, uh, consistent, uh, from here on out. I think I've got everything together. Uh, I think I need to get some soundproofing in here so you don't have to hear all these, these, uh, cooling fans and whatnot, cause it's a beast. Uh, but, uh, 
anyway, you guys have a good night, morning, evening, whenever you're listening. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Have a good night. Right.